This week on Command N, Napster has a new home, social networking overtakes porn, and web pics from Third Tuesday. Welcome to episode 149 of Command N. I'm Amber. And I'm Jeff. We're here in Moncton, New Brunswick for Third Tuesday, so maybe you can explain what that is. It's basically a little tech meetup we're having here in Moncton, New Brunswick. Uh, they have them, I think it's on the third Tuesday of various months. So uh, we're looking forward to meeting some of the people in the community here, and it should be a good time tonight. Yes, it should be a good time, and we're going to get lots of web pics from people who are coming to the event. Exactly. Give you guys a little bit of choice from, uh, from our own web pics. Yeah, a little variety. All right, let's talk about the tech headlines of the week. So for our first headline this week, spammer Jeremy Janes has been released from a nine-year sentence uh, after his case was appealed in the Virginia Supreme Court. And apparently he got off from doing days of over 10,000 spams per day uh, because they don't want to restrict freedom of speech. And so spamming is apparently falls in that category. I can't understand it at all, actually. All I know is that we do not need any more spam in our lives, and they need to get rid of spam once and for all. And thankfully, the DA is going to, I think, appeal this decision and take it to the U.S. Supreme Court because this sets a terrible precedent for spammers. So let's hope that goes well. Maybe nine years is a little steep for punishment, but still, we can't let people get off free for that stuff. It's it's too big a pain in the butt. Let's just hope. We'll pray. Yeah, no we spam. Will. We'll be like John C. Dvorak, who always says, I get no spam. Exactly. That'll we be want us. no spam. We want no spam. In other news, Best Buy has announced that they have plans to buy Napster for over $100 million. So they really want to get some of the customers and people who have been using Napster for a long time, get them associated with the Best Buy brand. Kind of interesting to see this happen. Now, I'm not sure if this isn't a bit of shadows of Microsoft's investment in Facebook in the sense that I can't see this panning out for the amount of money they're going to spend, but who knows, maybe it'll work. Best it depends what they have planned. Best of luck to them. But uh... You know what I kind of find funny is that I've done a little work with Best Buy now and again, and they really cater to the stay-at-home moms who are yeah. big purchasers in the household. And it's funny to see them associating with a brand like, like Napster because yeah. it's a much younger kind of hipper brand online. Yeah, I mean, who knows where that brand has gone in the past decade. Uh, it's been in some crazy places. But uh, Speaking of crazy places, it turns out that searches for porn have been cut in half in the past decade. So it used to be that 20% of web searches were for porn-related things. That's down to 10%. And now it looks like social networking is at the top of the pack. So it's Interesting. Great. Big Brother Jeff, why do you think that is? I maybe people are spending too much time on social networks, don't have time to really get to work on the porn surfing, but I'm sure there's, uh, you know, one, maybe people just remember the URLs now. There's, <laughs> there's content aggregators out there and there's BitTorrent, so I think there's that doesn't necessarily reveal the whole picture, so to speak. Or maybe they're hiding their surfing, surfing better, so you <laughs> yeah, can't actually track them. That's a possibility exactly. as well. Well, in other social networking news, a few people have written, and they really don't like the new Facebook. And I have to agree, I'm not a huge fan. At first I liked it, but now I can't stand it. You, it's hard to read your wall. There's issues with finding things. And you get so used to something, and then it changes, and you don't like it. And you no longer have the option to revert back to the old Facebook. But the good news is, and I just read this on TechCrunch, there is an application that you can download, so you have the option to revert back to the old Facebook. I don't know how long it's going to last, but uh, there is an opportunity out there to bring back a bit of the old. It's funny. I think the, the best Facebook experience I've had is on the iPhone app. The iPhone app offers a wonderful streamlined experience on Facebook, it's much more to my liking than the web has been, either in the new form or the old form. So uh, uh, give that a try if you happen to have an iPhone. Amazon has worked out some details so that IMDb, the Internet Movie Database, will now be able to stream movie trailers as well as TV and other video content. So they've done some deals with CBS and, you know, the Hulu gang and all that sort of stuff so that you can now watch the content that relates to the, the shows and movies that you're searching for. Interesting. So uh, what about us Canadians? Can we actually get this content? No. Like Hulu and like everything else, we're left out of it, as is everyone else outside the States. Unless you have some way to uh, 
you know, spoof your location as some proxy tools, uh, you, you can't see that content from outside the US. But if there are viewers out there that know how to get around this sort of stuff, we encourage you to send us your solutions and maybe we can share that with the rest of our viewers because it, it's a little ridiculous that there's these wonderful sites that you have in the States that you just can't get at in Canada or Britain or the rest of the world. And we'll make Jeff do a tech tip on it. Exactly. So uh, give some clearer instructions because, you know, not too fast up there. <laughs> that would be a very good idea. The clearer, the better. Now, for people who a year ago saw this video online, it was the Facebook sign, the song by Rhett and Link, and it's fantastic. It has almost 2 million views on YouTube. Well, they've come out with a new song, and it's all about internet addiction. It's really good. So we're going to wrap up our headlines with a little bit of that song. Of which I am king. Oh yeah, you're so neat. You're a loser noob. Of which I am king. Our web picks this week are sponsored by GoDaddy. If you want to build a website and you need to sign up for any of their hosting packages, they're up to 70% less than the competition. And remember, to save even more money, all you have to do is enter the promo code COMMAND10. That's the number one and the number zero for an extra 10% off. Hey, this is John Gunn from Moncton and MonctonITA.com. My web pick is iloverichardcheese.com. It's one of the best sites for one of the best independent musicians. He basically takes all the popular music, songs from Baby Got Back to Milkshake, and turns them into lounge and jazz. Great music and everyone should hear it. My milkshake rings all the boys in the yard and they're like, it's better than yours, damn right, it's better than yours, I can teach you, but I have to charge. My milkshake rings all the boys in the yard and they're like, it's better than yours, damn right, it's better than yours, I can teach you, but I have to charge. My name is Lisa Russo and I'm in Fredericton, New Brunswick. And the website I think is cool is uh, walkingspree.com. It's kind of Facebook for pedometer walkers. Full web to social networking, the whole thing. Upload your steps to the internet and track your steps online. My name is Joel Kelly. I'm from Halifax and my web pick is a blog called uh, The Typing Makes Me Sound Busy. It's at keepyourreceipt.blogspot.com and uh, productivity grinds to a halt whenever she releases a new post. It's probably the, one of the funniest blogs on the internet. And She works at a shoe store making $8 an hour and uh, complains about her life and it'll cheer you up. She also has Dr. Phil haikus, where she writes a haiku about Dr. Phil episodes. And uh, I recommend it because if you're depressed about your job or your life, um, reading about hers will make you a lot happier. I'm Andrew from Trust Me Security here in Moncton, New Brunswick. The site that I would recommend as a web pick, liveautographs.com. It's a website where you uh, can sign up to have a celebrity on video sign a picture for you and record a personalized message, and they send it both the email so you know that it's authentic. Uh, great stars like William Shatner, Hulk Hogan, um, ton more. Check it out. You should talk to Stephen and Rich from Razor Creative. They got an endorsement from Will Shatner. What he, what he was supposed to say to us was, um, I love Stephen Brander and Rich Gould and I give him a big thumbs up. But what he actually said to us, and he ad-libbed this, and which made it even great. Hey, Stephen Brander and Rich Gould. And this, this, right where it belongs. Right where it belongs. He sort of made it his own but it made it even better. Her name was Leia. She was a princess with a Danish on each ear and Darth Vader drawing near so R2-D2 found Ben Kenobi. Obi-Wan. He'd have to put the Death Star plans into the Rebellion's hands so Luke and Obi-Wan had to get to Alderaan. That's my first experience uh, being shot by a camera. By a camera. <laughs> Cantina, the weirdest creatures you've ever seen. Uh. 